Hey everyone, it's Mojax back in the DJ City UK lab. I've got a very short episode for you today. This is one of those occasions where a product has been integral to my DJ life for so long that I've actually just forgotten to talk about it until now. Let's get to it. I have quite a history with shortcut skins for my laptop keyboards. This is the long discontinued iSkin one, designed for Serato Scratch Live, which I bought to use with my white MacBook way back in 2007. I picked it up because, at the time, I didn't have any add-on MIDI controllers for the software, and I found using keyboard shortcuts really sped up my workflow. All major DJ and audio production software features keyboard shortcuts, and I suspect nearly all of you out there will be using at least one or two when you're performing. They really can be incredibly handy, especially when playing out without extra controllers on hand or in the event of hardware issues. With many platforms, you can even perform an entire set just using the keyboard, but getting to know all of the shortcuts is a pretty hard task, and that difficulty is increased exponentially if you use more than one platform. I use a dedicated shortcut keyboard with my iMac when editing these videos in Premiere Pro, and I can't imagine working without it. As with my DJ software, although there are some shortcuts which are committed to muscle memory, there are many more which I still need to glance at. But of course, taking an extra keyboard to gigs to use with your laptop is impractical at best. So that's where shortcut keyboard covers come in, and the two best known brands around today are Editor's Keys from the UK and KB Covers in the US. Now normally I wouldn't talk about more than one brand in a video, but in this case the two companies collaborate as well as compete, so I think I'll be okay. They both offer an extremely similar product when it comes to keyboard covers. They're made of soft silicone, which means they're washable, you can just run them under a tap to clean them, and durability is incredibly high. KB Covers sent me their tractor one around three years ago now, it's had a ton of use and still looks brand new. The fit is excellent, with that precision being hugely important to ensure the cover doesn't slip around on the keyboard. I was doubtful that the fit would be quite so good on the new super low profile Apple scissor keys, but in fact that stays in place perfectly too. Speaking of those keyboards, there is another reason I swear by keyboard covers, and that is for protection. No, a cover won't seal your whole laptop from particle and liquid ingress, but it sure does help. In fact, as the 2016 and 2017 MacBook Pro keyboards develop stuck keys if a breadcrumb even looks at them from a distance, I'd suggest that if you own one of those machines, you really need to have ordered a cover before this video finishes. Any potential downsides? Nothing major in my opinion. Heat is not a problem, MacBooks don't use the keyboard as a vent, and I've never found a difference in temperature between using a skin or not. If you're a big fan of the illuminated keys on your keyboard, then yes, these covers do obscure that, but not entirely, and for me, the functional benefits of having all your shortcuts visible at a glance comfortably outweighs that. Typing is not so much compromised as just feeling a little different. If you're a crazy touch typer who loves a clicky feel, you might not enjoy the spongier feeling that much, but it takes all of two seconds to remove and then replace the skin, so not exactly a hardship. In fact, the only real negative I can mention is that on some older Macs like mine, the oils from your fingers can transfer onto the screen when it's shut, leaving a faint outline on the screen over time, but that's easily removed during your normal screen cleaning routine anyway. Before I wrap up, it's worth noting why I'm actually making this video now, and that's because I noticed Editor's Keys had started producing the first shortcut cover for Rekordbox DJ. At this point, I'm pretty familiar with the shortcuts for Tractor and Serato, but the Rekordbox ones are very different from those, and so this is going to be a big help for myself and for people switching to that platform in learning those shortcuts. I'm happy to report that it's just as well made and useful as all of their previous covers. So there you go, a quick look at some keyboard shortcut covers from KB Covers and Editor's Keys. As I said at the start of the video, this is just an integral part of my DJ life. I'm looking at my MacBook Pro here now, naked, without a cover on there, and it looks weird to me because I never see that. For like the last decade on my laptops, I've had a Serato cover or a Tractor cover, one or the other. We've got the record box one now. It's just essential for me. I can't imagine being without it. It offers that protection to your keyboard and it does give you those shortcuts visually at a glance, really easy to use, especially if you use different platforms or you just want to get to know the shortcuts in your main platform a bit better. These are just fantastic and great value too at around about just like $30 street price in the US. I just love these things. Now, of course, the big limitation is that these are generally only for Apple machines. They do some for like Microsoft Surface laptops and things like that, but in general, they're for MacBooks, MacBook Pros, etc. The different variations thereof because Apple are really consistent with their keyboards. They rarely change the design. They've only really changed it once in the last like decade or so. 
but that does mean that Windows machines, there's so many variations out there. They might look similar because they've got the chiclet style keyboards now, but every single one has like different arrow key layouts, function key layouts, etc. So you're gonna have a job finding one to fit your Windows machine. But if you're a Mac user, for me, as far as I'm concerned, these are a no brainer. Thank you for watching today. Make sure you smash that like button, as the kids say, and you hit that bell icon down below to get notified anytime there's a new video from myself or the rest of the DJ City team. I'll see you soon.